Hey gang, remember the episode of the Bloody Benders that we did? We did a couple of episodes. If you haven't seen it, it's the story about that family that lived in Kansas. They had the cabin and the, the travelers would come down the Osage Trail. And they'd say, oh, come on board with us, have a meal. And the guy would sit down at the table and they'd have a canvas separating the room. Of course, his chair was backed up to the canvas and behind the canvas was old man Bender with a hammer, blacksmith hammer and he would smash the person behind the head. And then there was a trap door, they would right under the table and they dumped the body in there in case another traveler came and they'd slit his throat down there and bleed him out and steal all their money, bury him in the flower bed. Anyway, we did two parts, we went to Colorado, we found what we thought was Katie Bender's grave, maybe it is, maybe it's not. And that led us to Cherry Vale in Labette County where the cabin was, the, the Bender Mounds. Owner Bob Miller owned the land. We're friends now, and we are going, he is, I should say he, he's going to allow us to see kind of the progress, but he's been finding things, as you know, from part two. We, we documented that, but they have the university. Well, I don't want to say which university, but they have a university. He has a university, and he is going to be doing, they're already starting the process. There's going to be a lecture this summer. I'm not going to make it. It's going to be taped. I'll update you with, with the strategy. And then next summer, there is going to be work with the students, anthropologists, archaeology, and I think there's more bodies there. There's got to be. How could they find all the bodies with the rudimentary hose and shovels that they had and they, they there's got to be more bodies. So we're going to find out probably in the next summer or two. And I'm going to keep you posted with Bob every step of the way. There's probably going to be a documentary made. Of course, I'm not going to do it. But we're in close collaboration on all this. So anyway, following, if you haven't seen it, is a quick five-minute or so trailer of all the stuff we've done if you haven't seen it. All right? So stay tuned. Stay with me. There is the dusty trail, and we've come up the dusty trail. Let's talk about the bloody benders. flags here so Bob is doing his own kind of digging he has found a lot of cool stuff laying right there look at that there is all over the place here and you know the the plowing has just turned this stuff over and over and over these are all artifacts from where the Bender cabin once stood Kind of a blue. Oh, look at that piece. Holy cow. There it is from, from Germany, huh? The, the, the um, Guys. compound is from Germany. Nail again. Yeah, a lot of nails. And you said they would sometimes they burn the houses down just when they were leaving instead of just leaving all the nails to get the nails are so valuable. They burn the house down and go collect the nails. Well, that's right, because the uh, blacksmith could only make about 50 to 60 nails an hour, and there's over 10,000 nails in an average house. You know, you're talking several hundred, a couple hundred hours or more just to make the nails. All right, gang, we are at the Cherryvale Historical Museum, and we're going to check out the artifacts. Let's do it. Welcome Don's to the back. Historical Museum. All right, they're yeah. gonna take us through, show us so a few things. All right. a couple things anyway. Awesome. This is Kate and John Bender. Then that's what she tells the tale as. Now, all the stories about Kate and John being brother and sister, even as a child, I imagine they were probably husband and wife. It just made right. more sense. Right. You know, 
And so perhaps there's no way to substantiate it, but that's the closest thing we have. Look at that. Yeah, that could be her. That could be Kate, very much so. And John, as far as that goes. And I always imagined, and a lot of people did, that they used this big hammer as the murder weapon, but according to Mr. Dick, when they were looking at all the bodies, every one of them had been hit in the back of the head and had a almost perfectly round hole, and it matched the hole the size of this hammer. A black so apparently this is the hammer that was used for most of the murders. There it is, guys. And that they do, they'd pop them in the head and then they'd drop them in a hole and go down and slit their throat and let them bleed out. Right here, yeah. WF McCrady. So he was one of the victims. He was one of the bodies that was found. And going down the Osage Trail, that cut right literally through the Bender's property. He probably stopped there for something to eat or for some refreshments, or maybe he even stayed. 